Howdy everyone, your Pyral here with some more of The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time 3D. Last episode, we met up with Sheik at the Temple of Time and found out that Sheik was actually Princess Zelda, the leader of the Seven Sages, the whole time. And we found out a lot of stuff. When Ganondorf touched the Triforce that day seven years ago, it split into three pieces. We have the Triforce of Courage, Ganondorf has a Triforce of Power, and he captured Princess Zelda, who has a Triforce of Wisdom. So, we're here inside Ganon's tower to rescue Princess Zelda and stop Ganondorf from conquering the world. Anyways, ignore all of these Beemos here, and this here is the main hub of Ganon's tower. As we were told before, Ganon's tower has a barrier here, and these six different chambers within the tower are what's powering the barrier. We're gonna need to go to the end of each of these to put an end to whatever is casting this barrier before we can actually progress into the rest of the tower. And it actually does hurt us. I didn't know that. Now, normally, you might be like tempted to just go through these in order, like this room here represents the forest temple and whatnot. But what I recommend doing is going straight towards the part of the tower that uh, represents the shadow temple. Also, around here, I believe there is a hidden room? I might be wrong on that. Though I'm like pretty sure. Is it is it here? This looks like it. Yep. There's some fairies here and some business scrubs if you if you're so inclined. But no, what I'm gonna be doing, like I said, I'll be taking my own advice, and I'm gonna be going uh, towards the shadow temple portion. Which is up. There it is. I see the purple. So the reason why is because there's something here that I highly recommend getting also. Mm. Oh, you know what? This is actually a good opportunity. Well, first, let me get this. This is a good opportunity for us to try out, not the blue rupees, but um, Princess Zelda gave us the light arrows, so let's go ahead and use those. Their arrows enchanted with magical light. Its sacred power binds evil upon contact. So, let's do this. It uses more magic than both the fire and the ice arrows. I missed. But, yeah, we're also going to be needing the light arrows. Also, whenever you uh, kill something with the light arrows, it just straight up drops a... Um, of purple rupee. So that's a nice way to get money. But yes, we are going to be needing the light arrows as well. Yay, purple rupee that I don't need. Okay, so I'm actually going to switch over to the fire arrows. And also, um, I am going to... No, that's not it. I want the hover boots. Because we're probably going to be needing them. So fire arrows here to light this... Light this torch. Which makes these platforms appear. And of course, you, you want to be quick about it. And now... Um, I wonder. That's just going to make it easy to get over there. Okay, so now... I have my boots ready. Perfect. Hit this rusted switch. That makes that open. Um, hmm. I... I want to get to that switch over there, because that's what I need to get to. Um, I don't have a lot of confidence in the hover boots. Getting me over there to that switch. Oh. There you go. 
And this just took shot over to it. This is a very, very useful item. It's actually required, so we do need to get this, but these are the golden gauntlets. You'll feel even more power coursing through your arms. So we can lift even heavier things. Um, how do I? You know what? I could just do this or no? That's can I? Um Huh. Anyways, yes. You wanna get those uh silver gauntlets not silver, the golden gauntlets as fast as possible, which is why I recommend going through the shadow temple part of this place first. Also, um, light arrows. Just equip those. And let's take a look at the golden gauntlets. They're just here in the gear icon. So, yay. Uh, I can latch onto that. And boom. Okay, let's break this. There's always going to be magic in these pots as well as arrows because this is what we need to use the light arrows on. The shatter barrier is dispelled. Please save the princess. And, just like Impa said, we've dispelled a part of the barrier that is protecting the in the main part of Ganon's castle, tower. But, the reason why I wanted the, the, um, the gold gauntlets as fast as possible is because I'm going to quickly leave this place. This is an optional thing, but this is going to be very, very handy. So right out here, actually, it's really close by as well. It's a way for us to test out our golden gauntlets. So, yay to that. So right out here, you want to go to where we met one of the great fairies as Young Link. As you can see, there's just this big pillar that's just blocking that entrance before. And now that we have the gold gauntlets, we can lift it. I wish I was that strong. Like, wow, that, he is super strong now. I need those gauntlets. But yes, go inside here. And this is actually a different great fairy in the adult timeline. So, of course, one last time, let's play Zelda's Lullaby. So this great fairy, like I said, this, this is a very, very handy thing to get. So... I'm really excited about this power-up that we're getting. <laughs> Welcome, Link. I'm the Great Fairy of Courage. Fitting, because we do have the Triforce of Courage. I'll grant you an enhancement to your defensive power. Receive it now. And our defensive power has been enhanced. With your enhan enhanced defense, damage inflicted by enemies will be reduced by half. That is very helpful, especially with a lot of tough enemies like Iron Knuckles. It It's just a shame that you get this really, really late into the game. So, if you look at the bottom screen, now your hearts are surrounded by a white outline. I was going to say ite line or something like that, but that's what indicates that you now have double defense. Really cool. Really handy. But now that we're fully equipped to take on whatever is inside Gan's tower, let's return there. Just because 
now we can... Now we can take even more of a beating, especially if you're a reckless player like I've been playing recently. Okay, sorry about that. It, I thought there was something wrong going on with the recording, but I think we're, we're fine. Anyways, yes. Basically, double defense is good. But, again, it's a shame you get it so late into the game. Like, practically to the point where it might not... It might not even be that useful for me, particularly, but... Eh. Anyways, let's go in to the Force Temple part. I... I don't know how this represents the Forest Temple. But... Okay. What's... what's in here? Blue Ruby. Okay then. Well... Um... We're gonna be needing... Our handy dandy fire arrows. I could use Din's fire here, but... Eh, don't feel like it. So that's one... Two, three, four, and there's one up there. So you want to be a little bit careful with that. Ooh, hello. I see. I see some shenanigans going on here. Um, well, first off. How do I want to approach this? Play the Song of Time? Because I think... I think there's a Song of Time block there? Yes, there is! Oh, and that fan is going to blow me all the way over there. Um... Will this work? It worked, I guess. Um... Okay, so now... Uh, let's do that. Put my bombs there. Get rid of this Beemos, because this is going to get in my way. Um, hmm. I can make this. I can make that. Oh, there's a, th there's a thing over here as well. How do I get that one? Oh, I see. This switch is what's gonna do it. So, press this. And that makes this appear, so I can hook shot onto this. Okay, so this last... This last rupee, that's gonna be a little bit difficult to get. Okay, just to be safe, let's do this so I can mine the gap and quickly go back. Perfect. And now, get these out. Cool, we're at the end. Really? You're supposed to give me magic or arrows. Well, I'll take the magic, I guess. Well, Sarya, help us out. Forest barriers dispelled. Hurry up, Link. You don't need to rush me, but yeah. Cool. That's two more, or that's our second one down. Only four more left. And the next one I'm gonna be going for, since I am going in order, is the fire one. Also, um... Where is it? Yeah, see? The light barrier there. That's what we need the gold gauntlets for anyways, so... Yep, required. So hot in here. Oh! I need to... put this to use. It's been a while since we've actually, um... had this. Anyways, this platform is... Interesting. I didn't know about this until I think my second or third playthrough of Ocarina of Time, but if you stand on it, it, it'll it sink. The reason I didn't know about that is because 
if you have the iron boots on, because you're basically light as a feather, then uh, this main platform won't sink. And I've mentioned this before, but when I first played Ocarina of Time, I like the moment I got the the hover boots, I kept them on for the rest of the game. So that's why I didn't know that that main platform would sink. Anyways, really? Okay, it takes two hits from these to actually deal a quarter heart of damage now. That's funny. Uh, let's see, how do I do this? There's this over here. Sure, why not? Let, let's, let's kill that thing. Oh, you, the magic thing fell. Anyways, this is also another reason why we need the golden gauntlets. I'm gonna flip-flop between saying gold and golden, but eh, whatever. It's because this is here. So let's, again, prove that we are strong, boy. Look at Link. So strong. Jeez! How much do you think that thing weighs anyways? No, it looks like it weighs a ton. Maybe more than a ton. I don't know. But that that's gonna take us to our last silver rupee here. Okay, let's do that. Oh, and you want to be fast there because that platform will sink. Um, will the long shot make it all the way there? No, it won't. Will it now? No. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna just. Go over here, then. Neat. Okay, let's take this off. And you know what? Let's go back to the classic blue outfit. Wow, I am colorblind. That is green. Okay, then. Well, I know what I meant. And let's dispel this barrier. Hello, Darunia. Hurry up, brother. Okay. Everyone's rushing me here, but... I mean, the situation is pretty dire. But, yeah. That's three barriers down. We're halfway done with... Getting rid of this big barrier here. But, we're going to... Tackle the last three barriers... Next time. So, thank you all so much for watching. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, we are going to get rid of the rest of the barriers that Ganondorf is hiding behind. Thank you all so much for watching, and see you all next time for some more of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Later! Later!